That was a clip of me hitting my antique hickory shaft in mid-iron. If you're creating a hickory set, this is a club that you use very frequently. Pictured here is the most common configuration of a basic set of hickory golf clubs. The loft of these clubs is generally around that of a modern 3 iron to a 5 iron. Due to this, it will likely be the longest iron in your bag. My personal mid-iron is from England, made in about 1930. It labels the loft at 27 degrees, which is pretty convenient. In general, these clubs will simply have been stamped mid-iron. However, numbers were introduced to label clubs in the 1920s and you will often see them numbered with the 2 next to the name. In some cases, they will simply be called a 2 iron, such as with my Tom Stewart here. The loft of this club is more like a modern 4 iron, so don't let the numbers scare you. The numbers in the early days were generally much weaker and have gradually gotten stronger as the years went by. Anyways, this club isn't used much differently than its modern counterparts. I usually use it from the fairway or even the rough as it's easy to hit and usually gets me about 160 yards of distance. This club is also an ideal fairway finder. If you have a tee shot where accuracy is key or you don't trust your brassy, your mid iron can work very well. Here's a couple clips of me teeing off with mine. Overall, the mid-iron is one of the clubs that hasn't changed a whole lot over the past century. They have a smaller head than modern clubs which makes them harder to hit, but that's part of the fun of Hickory Golf. With some practice, this club can be extremely reliable for a variety of situations. Hopefully this video was useful for anyone out there building the first set of Hickory Golf Clubs. Thanks for watching.